In this episode of Made In, the team at Lexar Homes in Washington State give an inside look at the way they're building homes differently in today's construction industry. So one of the first things I like to do before we even really talk about feasibility is, will your house appraise? I do like to build out the budget on a desk. And what that means is, let's talk three main principles. Let's talk A, the land, what's the acquisition cost? B, the feasibility cost. So everything we've covered, what does that cost? And C, the house cost. So we put A, B, and C together, and we get our total project budget of what, uh, what the house project's gonna cost. A lot of the times, a lot of folks come to me and they say, hey, you know, we really want this beautiful big timber frame entry approach here. And the customer could have the income for it, but what does the appraisal say? What do current and former sales in the last six to 12 months support? Do they support that type of house on that land? And if they do, uh, where does that bump up against the qualifications for your total project? What will work here in this county might not work in the neighboring county. Really, the, the big things we want to look at here uh, when we're talking feasibility are, is it, can it be built? And really, what are those costs? You know, you, you see this, this beautiful lot here, you see these amazing trees, and, and you look at this two-dimensional picture and you say, wow, I'd love to have my house right here. But there's a lot of what we call red tape into going through these steps called feasibility to know if we can even build it. Uh, and then really what we want to look at is the soil types. That's really the biggest uh, red flag for a lot of the lots around here in the Pacific Northwest. These are done through a series of what's called perk tests. So perk tests tell us a story about the soil. How well does the soil drain? Uh, what type of septic system are you going to place? And really the cost of that system. A lot of these areas uh, have a very high water table. And a high water table really prevents you from digging down into the ground. And so a lot of the folks on the east side of the United States, uh, they're not familiar with what's called a high water table. And that basically says you've got your ground and you've got a water table that comes pretty high up to that surface. So we have to be cognizant of where that water table is and we don't wanna go down into that. Aside from the cost and you know if we can build it, uh, I really like to discuss the timelines because a lot of people, you know, they, they understand, well, hey, I just sold my house, what next? Can we build this house in three months? Do I have to go and take an apartment a year lease to go live there? Every time I talk to a customer, I try to break all of that down and then and, and provide realistic timelines because really uh, we don't ever want to put somebody in a compromised position, but then it's also educating the customer with a realistic expectation and hoping that, hey, we, we don't want it to take 12 months, but if it does, or if it takes 10, even better, and uh, you'll be able to move in a lot faster. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Made In. If so, why not hit the subscribe button, head over to edgefactor.com, create a free account. There are many more videos like this.